All right, what's up, guys? As you may know, this is Beaver Catch Clean and Cook. Now, what I got over there is the clean beaver. What I got right here is the hide, see? And what I got right over here is the stove all warmed up, and I got my beaver. Now, you see, the reason why I showed you all that hide is because I'm going to be fleshing that instead of processing the beaver. And also, to prove that it's not some beef. Okay, guys, now, as you can see here, we've got that going. And now we're just going to put in a few more pieces of wood as we let that heat up. You know what I mean? Relatively hot, but that oil needs to get hot. Though, so. Time to make it hot. I don't know if we should play salt and pepper or, you know, push it. No, hey, don't judge me. Okay. All right. Yeah, you know what? Kind of take a little easy to get one of them logs out of that fire. Don't want to choke it out now. I'm going to put it in one of my headlocks. But yeah, either way, now we're just going to let that heat up. And in the meantime, I'm going to get ready to start the flushing process of De La Beaver. I meant Senor Beaver, as you may know. Ah, damn it. Hey guys, this shows that you do not need perfect tools to flush pretty good. Oh yeah, it might be just a tad bit dirty. It looks a whole lot dirtier than it actually is. But I got a metal pipe right there. I got this thing. I'm just kind of giving it a little bit of a slicing motion. I'm flipping it over to push it over. Okay guys, so just like this. You see, I'm giving it a little cut with the sharp side. And then I'm pushing, flipping it over. With the dull side, I'm pushing it. Make sure to try and not leave anything behind. And yeah. You know, and then it's just getting off all that ugly stuff. Like that. You know, and you know, it might seem a little gross, you know, but it's not that bad. Though it does kind of sound a little gross every once in a while. But, you know, you're just basically working it. And working it. You know, guys, this is why they call it scraping. That right here, I'm going to just go to right here. Or, let me see how fast I can get this part right here done. Now, you know, when you're doing this, you know, you got to be real careful. You know, you got to keep running this thing just right. Or else you're going to cut it. Now, the reason why I'm good at this, okay, and this is my first beaver. Well, my first catch with a trapping license is because I used to do, is because I've been doing, is because I've been trapping skunks for a whole year, so... I got this pretty much under as muscle memory. Right here, so. You know, you're just gonna push hard and scrape it off. And then you're gonna move over a little bit. And you're gonna scrape all that off, too. Let me get a higher grip up on here so that you guys can see. Getting my new shirt all met. Well, all messy already. <laughs> new Christmas shirt, you know? Hey, ain't no laws when you roll with Santa Claus. Well, when you roll with Claus. And then you gotta get it along here. And then you gotta be extra careful with here. 
because you know you don't want to end up ripping it so I'll just pull that off and take a look at that see it's still got a little bit of fat left so I'm gonna get that done then we're gonna go to over here got a little bit of fat and stuff on it I'll just wring it out we've got a little bit on the recording device And see, usually you can just eyeball it and tell that, hey, that right there is a little bit of, it's a thin, thin layer of fat, you know, and then, see, it came off. Actually, I'm not sure. I can't really tell. Yeah, you can't really tell with the camera too well. But you're just going to take it off like that. And then, like that, I'm grabbing this thing so tight that it's kind of cutting me. And just now I got fat all over my legs, but hey, that's okay. I'll clean it off here in a minute. Usually, you should wear an apron, but I don't know where in the hell mine went. I know it's in here somewhere. I just gotta find it. And I'll take a look at that. Looks like that right there is a little dirty. And that right there has a little bit of fat on it. Now I'm gonna take a real quick look at it. Set that down. Take a look, it's nice and clean. Right there's where I haven't gotten. Here's where I have gotten. That looks like I missed a little bit. Yeah, I missed a little bit there. Now I'm gonna go in real quickly. Set up the metal pipe on the most uncomfortable spot on me. I'm gonna get that like that. Then I'm gonna get the doll edge, which is right here. Running that thing along the blade like an idiot. Then, as you can see, it's very slightly, except for the bad lighting. And I know this is boring, so I'm gonna stop right here. We're just gonna start putting chunks of beaver in there. Hopefully, we don't overflow the paint. Well, the pan, which would be kind of weird because it, it was a little beaver. wasn't full grown, but hey, meat is meat. When it's about meat, you don't really care that it's a tiny little deer, do you? Let me just put that in there. Look how quick these suckers are cooking. Man, this is some hot oil. Sound a little unsteady. I guess high blood pressure or something. I don't know. Those pieces over there. They start on cooking them. Little pieces right there. Mm. 
And that's the last piece. And what we're going to do here is we're going to stir those pieces up. You know, you might be thinking, well, why in the heck is he grabbing it so far back? What a chicken. Oh, hey, kiss my ass. I'm just not trying to get burned today. I still got to go and reset traps and... I'm thinking about going and trap, seeing the trap at another spot and just stuff like that. Like her? She's an antique. Dang, why are my veins all popped? <sighs> and you know, hey. Ooh, why is that hot? Oh, never mind, it's not. <laughs> it's just a little warm. <laughs> okay, guys, so. We're here. We're done. So let's give it a try. Hmm. Hmm. It's really good. <laughs> you guys need to try this shit. It's freaking amazing. <laughs>